Barack Obama's inauguration on January 20th will be a defining moment in American history when a black man becomes president. Among those who paved the way were the Tuskegee Airmen, the legendary all-black force of elite pilots in World War II. Their experience was so singular that Mr. Obama has invited them to his inauguration. The election of Barack Obama was like the culmination of a struggle that we were going through as want-to-be pilots. Black, white. white. Black and white we met Bill Wheeler just a few days after Obama's election. He was talking to students at Lehman College in the Bronx about his days as an airman, the lessons, and the discrimination. We were treated better by our German captors than some of our own senior officers treated us on this side of the drink. Okay, that's the way it worked out. The Tuskegee Airmen helped persuade President Truman to desegregate the military, and that helped fuel the civil rights movement. Now some of these students see a direct connection between the Tuskegee experience and the election of the first black president. In the government for like having recognized your achievements so late. In, in January, I'm leaving to the Marine Corps. So just hearing his stories um, kind of like sparks a little flame of courage in me. Yeah, I believe, especially not just Mr. Wheeler, but the entire Tuskegee Airmen, that they opened the door for desegregation in the Army, which opened the door for desegregation in American society, which opened the doors for Obama. Three. <laughs> Mr. Obama has acknowledged his debt to the airmen. He said in a statement in 2007 that his career was made possible by heroes like them. To show the degree of discrimination they faced, Mr. Wheeler read from a report by the American War College. Which evaluated the Negro in World War I. World War I. The study stated that the black man was physically unqualified for combat duty, was by nature subservient, mentally, mentally inferior, inferior, and believes himself to be inferior to the white man. Was Shade Lee, whose grandfather was born a slave, served with the Tuskegee Airmen as part of the ground support during the war. The crux of desegregation was the loss, the stopping, the waste of unnecessary manpower based upon nonsense and false beliefs. And this was a set that I used. This is an SCR 131A. He's 87 now, and he remembers vividly his experience in the segregated military. A black fighter pilot in Europe had to fly 100 missions before he was eligible for rotation back to the United States. A white only had to fly, fly from 56 to 60 missions doing the same job. It was Eleanor Roosevelt who helped the black airmen prove themselves. She was visiting Tuskegee in the early 40s, and she wanted to go flying with a black pilot. So she got in the plane with this black man, and he took her up and flew her. And when she came down, she couldn't have been grinning more than she was because they had done a coup. If the president's wife flew with these black men, it would suggest that maybe they could do something on their own that would be more constructive for this country. It took the country a long time to recognize their valor. It wasn't until 2007, 60 years after the war, that the Tuskegee Airmen were given the Congressional Gold Medal, the highest honor that Congress can give. We asked Mr. Wheeler if getting that recognition made up for some of his bitterness about past discrimination. The medal made up for some of it, but it came 62 years after the event. And meanwhile, we dwindled down from 960 to about 95. Okay, 90% of the guys are dead when they awarded the medal. You see what I'm saying? Both the Tuskegee pilots and ground support are invited to the inauguration, but it's unclear how many will attend. Most of those alive are over 80, and many are infirm. For some, the ceremony will be incidental. A black man will be in the Oval Office. I probably will look at a few minutes of the inauguration. I'm hoping that there's no violence. I'm looking forward for the, the uh, 21st of January, when he rolls up his sleeves and gets down to work. 
That's what I'm looking for. The celebration's over. <laughs>